All right, guys, welcome back. Today is Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, 2021. And today's project, or one of many projects for today, is getting a garden in. So I'm standing out in the acre-ish pasture slash garden area. And this area right here is what I'm gonna focus on today and transform it into a garden. This trailer is loaded with landscape fabric that was used in this garden a few years ago. I have it piled up um, over on the edge of the woods and I dug out a few sheets. I'm gonna get this laid down and we're gonna do a no-till garden this year and cover all of this with landscape fabric and I'll keep checking in with you as progress goes on but here's where we're at we'll start here see how far we get today stay tuned okay I've been going at this for quite a while today and have a little bit of progress to show and here we are, let me back up, here's power and water. Got some landscape fabric down around this. I uh, got a pile of straw mulch to mulch my rows. Um, mowers going and using the grass clippings to mulch rows also. So we got one sheet down. You can see the grass sticking up through the holes in the landscape fabric but we'll be mulching all the way down to cover up all those grass sorry about the traffic we're right on the road here so the holes will all be covered with mulch to kill out that grass and we'll also mulch around the plants to keep help with moisture um, i'll also be running drip irrigation i'll do that separately and I'll show a video on that. It's super simple to do. So I have a couple more sheets ready to lay down over here. Getting ready to do that now. Um, may get another sheet laid on this side. So I think we'll end up with nine rows ready to plant with two more sheets and may do more today than that. We'll see how far we get. So that's the update for now. I will uh, get back to it and update you some more with the progress. All right, this will probably be the last update for the day today. Ready to see the progress. This full sheet on the right is just laying there um, to start killing off the grass and stuff that's under it. We've got the rows all mulched on that one whole sheet and about half of the second sheet. And then the third sheet there has more sheets on top of it just to help kill off the grass, the, the holes that are open. We got Andrew mowing, bagging the grass and using that to mulch the holes that are all pre-drilled or pre-melted into the plastic. So, we got a pretty big area knocked out today. Um, I'll probably let the grass clippings work on uh, killing off the weeds in the holes for a few days before I actually start planting. And then I'll use those grass clippings to mulch around the plants when I put them in the ground. Because I got a several flats of veggies ready to get in the ground. And I'm sure they'd appreciate it if they were in there today, but this is where we're at. Much, much closer. This is probably, these sheets are 16 feet wide, but they're overlapping. Uh, we have three set going this way, and then I have one running this way. This one, uh, I'm going to set up a cattle panel archway. So we'll have a tunnel running straight back toward the house here and then 
Um, all the rest of the road is running east-west like this. So we have the water right here. Um, I ordered some of the irrigation pieces I was missing to be able to get irrigation all hooked up down here. That is supposed to come Tuesday, of course. Um, tomorrow is Memorial Day, so right after the long weekend that will come, but it's all right. I wasn't quite ready for it anyway. So when that comes on Tuesday, I'll be ready to get irrigation run to each one of these rows. And we'll go from here. We'll see what kind of garden we can knock out this year. This again is a no-till option, uh, just using what I have. I had all these sheets. That's why they're pre the holes are pre-melted because they've all been out here before. So they are just back. Um, just using what I have. This is not the cheapest way to do things, but for me already having it, this was the fastest, most economical way for me to get a decent sized garden in relatively quickly this year. Got this pile of straw mulch that I can use also. So that's it for the update today. We'll probably pick you up tomorrow and see how far we get. Thanks for watching. All right, this will be the final update for this video. It's actually Tuesday, June 1st, the day after Memorial Day. We got quite a bit done down here in the garden over Memorial Day weekend. So for perspective, you can see the market building up there, the kind of road down here between through the garden and the garden. So uh, we've got a solid piece of landscape fabric down here just to manage the weeds right now around the infrastructure we need the electric and water and this sheet here is just a solid sheet that's down I'm just working on killing the ground cover the next sheet is ready to plant we just have grass clippings covering the holes that are melted into the fabric already. That's just to kind of kill off anything that could grow up between the holes. And But otherwise it's ready to plant. We got the tomato trellis in, which is just T-posts and cattle panels. It's three cattle panels, so it's about a 48 foot, 50 foot row which is what all these are. All these rows are just ready to plant. Get out of this tunnel. So we got a few more rows to mulch down on that end. Uh, more landscape fabric laying down, just killing off the growth right now. And this is the beginning of this archway tunnel. So we'll have pole beans, cucumbers, gourds, something along those lines. Not exactly sure just what yet. Growing that will cover that all over and it'll be a nice tunnel. And I gotta get this row. There's a row here right on the edge. We'll probably plant flowers. That one's gotta get mulched as well. But irrigation supplies came today. Um, I was just kind of waiting on irrigation. We haven't really had much rain. We're in a drought, so I didn't want to get a bunch of things in the ground without a way to water them. So that is all here. I can at least get irrigation done. So we're ready to run irrigation and plant. Finally, the plants are begging to get out of their flats and little containers. So here's where we're at. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments. But we'll keep you updated with the progress down here. Thanks for watching. 
Always appreciate you stopping by and appreciate the love and support in the comments and likes. Don't forget to subscribe and set up notifications to stay posted on our future videos. We thank you again. See you soon.